Okay, so you have six different types of blood types. You have I, A, I, B, I, A, I, A, I, A, I, I, B, I, B, I, B, I, and I, I. So if you're an I, I, you have an O blood type. If you're an I, B, I, you have a B blood type. If you're an I, B, I, B, you have a B blood type. If you have an IAI, you have an A blood type. If you have an IAIA, you have an A blood type. And if you have an IAIB blood type, you have AB blood. Okay, the way where you can determine what the offspring of two parents will be, you gotta take, for example, if you have an IAI parent and an IBI parent, this is what it'll look like. So you make a four square Punnett square, like this. And you line your two parents up. So you look at what the genetic makeup is. This one has, this parent is IAI. So you go IAI. -I. And this parent has IBI. -I. So you put IBI. -I. And then you look at the cross will be. So first you multiply IB times IA to get IA, IB. Then you multiply IB times I to get IB, I. Then you multiply IA by I to get IA, I. And then you multiply I times I to get I, I. So in these two scenarios, even though there's a gene in it to have the O blood type, because the IB and IA are dominant over the O blood type, both of these offspring will be a B and A respectively, even though they have the, the I. The B and A will take dominance over that I. And then if you get AB, IB, it's both, you have both blood types. And then only if both the types are I, will you have an O blood type.